We've, we've had uh, in the past couple guests that we've had in the past couple weeks, excuse me, guests that have come in that are um, high performing athletes. We had J.R. Selsky, who's a three time Olympian. Uh, that's a high performing athlete. We had Tyrone Smith last week, who is the receiver for the University of Utah. Um, July 4th, the 4th of July. If you want to start off your morning right <clears throat> and listen to K-Talk Radio, we have Jonathan Garcia, who's also an Olympian, who's going to be our guest. And one of the things that I like diving into is mindset, because if you're thinking about investing in real estate, <clears throat> you know, we're, we're uh, Utah Home Sweet Home is primarily an entrepreneurial real estate show. We talk about business, we talk about real estate, we talk about buying and selling homes, flipping homes, apartment buildings, we, you know, all our guests are in one way or another business owners um, or uh, winners, winners in general. And the reason that we have these individuals coming in to share their mentality, these, this winner mentality is because if you don't have a winning mentality, it's difficult to win no matter what you're pursuing in life. Whether you're an athlete, whether you're uh, a wannabe entrepreneur, whether you are already an entrepreneur, whether you want to quit your 9 to 5 to pursue your passion, your mindset has to be right. <clears throat> and so that's why we have these winners come in, like Tyrone, like Jer Selsky, like Jonathan Garcia, uh, and share how they were able to make their mind a winning mentality so that they could go out and perform at the most elite levels uh, in, in, in competition. And there's also something though that's incredibly important along the, alongside with, with mindset. You could have the best mindset. You could have your goal in mind, but if you don't have a road map, or in business, they, you know, you probably hear the term a business plan. If you don't have a road map or a plan to get to your goal, the likelihood of you getting to your goal becomes drastically less and if you do get to your goal it typically takes drastically longer to get there without a map. So let me give you an example. If I, if I had anyone who's listening to this right now get in a car and we started off in Toronto, Canada. Okay, let's, let's imagine we're in Toronto, Canada right now. And I say, here's an address of my buddy's house who lives in Panama City, Panama. I'd like you to drive there from Toronto, Canada to Panama City, but you cannot use a road map. You can't use a GPS. You cannot use any form of map. You just have to figure it out, right? That's what you hear people say. I'm starting a business and I'm figuring it out. Can you imagine how long it would take to drive from Toronto, Canada to Panama City without a GPS, without a map, without any direction? You just had to get in your car and start driving south. Hopefully you know at least you need to go south versus north. <laughs> Can you imagine how difficult it will be? And, and for those of you who, you know, maybe aren't as great at geography and have any idea where Panama City is, let me, let me break this down for you a little bit here. So if you got into your car in Toronto, I did this on Google Maps. So I pulled up the map and Google Maps gave me the road map uh, on how to get to Panama City from Toronto, Canada. And the very first place, the very first state, U.S. state, uh, that you would enter from Canada to America would be Michigan. Okay, so from Toronto, Canada, you'd drive across the border and then you would go into Michigan. Now, I'm not giving you the different cities in Michigan. I'm not telling you Detroit or wherever. This is just, you're going to have to figure out now from Michigan, the next state, right? So there's a lot of states and a lot of cities and a lot of towns in between each state. So from Toronto, Canada, you'd go to Michigan. From Michigan, then you're going to drive to Indiana. From Indiana, you're going to drive into Illinois. From Illinois, you will then drive to Missouri. From Missouri, you will then end up in Arkansas. From Arkansas, you'll end up in Texas. Okay, Texas is going to be the last state in the U.S. that you will drive through. Now, you still have to figure out how to get from Michigan to Indiana, right? You still have to figure out what's the best freeway. Hopefully, you don't take a wrong turn. You start asking for advice from people who have never been down the path. I see this all the time in entrepreneur and real estate where people will ask a friend, hey, what do you think I should do? Uh, as far as you know, starting up this business, they get a lot of ideas from a lot of friends who have never started a business or bought a piece of real estate. And a lot of the advice, not in you know, as far as like on purpose, but a lot of the advice advice is not good advice. 
And so, you know, you, you're driving from Michigan to Indiana, you pull up to a gas station, you fill up some gas, you ask the gas station attendant, uh, hey, listen, I'm trying to get to Illinois, uh, can you give me some directions? Well, that person's never done the drive to Illinois. And so, and, and what, how about this? You don't even know that Illinois, because without a map, you don't even know Illinois is the next, uh, the next state you're, sort of, you're supposed to drive to. So maybe what you're telling the gas station attendant in, in Michigan is, hey, listen, I'm trying to get to Panama City. Tell me which direction I need to be going. Well, that gas station attendant says, you know, you need to go south, so maybe you should take this freeway. So you jump on that freeway to find out it was the wrong freeway. It took you southeast instead of southwest. And now you're heading to, you know, Florida, or you're heading to North Carolina, which is the wrong direction. And now you've driven four hours, five hours the wrong way to the next gas station for that gas station attendant to tell you, dude, you're on the wrong track. You're going to need to drive back. So now you've lost four hours going one way, you gotta drive back four hours, so you lost eight hours, you lost an entire day. That's a lot of people in entrepreneurship without a roadmap. They know their goal. They wanna do this, whatever it may be. They wanna start this business. They want this business to do this thing. But without a roadmap, they get a lot of bad advice and make a lot of wrong turns. Okay, so from Indiana now, you need to get to Illinois, to Missouri, to Arkansas, to Texas. Okay, now, the luxury of that part is at least everybody for the most part spoke English because now you're going to enter Mexico. We're not even going to talk about the states and the cities you have to drive through but somehow from Mexico you then have to drive all through Mexico to Guatemala, completely different country. From Guatemala then you have to drive all through Guatemala to figure out how to get to Panama City which the next country is Honduras. From Honduras then you're going to drive through El Salvador. From El Salvador, you're going to drive through Nicaragua. From Nicaragua, you're going to drive through Costa Rica. Costa Rica is the neighboring country to Panama. So now after Costa Rica, you will finally hit Panama. But now that you're in Panama, you still need to find the city of Panama City. And once you find the city of Panama City, without a road map, without a GPS, you've got to figure out where my buddy lives at this exact address. That's entrepreneurship without a roadmap. Is it possible? Sure, sure, it's definitely possible. Me and Bailey could probably get in our car today, drive up to Toronto, Canada, or fly up to Toronto, Canada, rent a car, and we could probably eventually get to an address in Panama City. I speak a tiny bit of Spanish. Bailey, do you speak Spanish? A little bit. Bailey speaks a little Spanish. So, you know, we might be able to make our way through South America um, with a little bit of Spanish and hope that we meet a lot of people that speak English along the way. But can you imagine how long this would take us to get from Toronto, Canada to Panama City without a GPS, without a road map? So, here's what's critical. You can have the proper mindset, which is a great start because that you need that. And we talk about mindset being like a muscle. If you don't work out mindset, Mindset is like a muscle in that it just stays weak. If you don't work out a muscle, that muscle particularly stays weak. But if you work out a muscle, that muscle becomes stronger. So mindset's very, very similar because if you just go on living life day to day, the natural way that you live, and you don't have any, uh, any, any growth in your mindset, then you're probably not going to grow as an individual. I talk about being uncomfortable because when people are uncomfortable, what's the first thing they typically do? They stop doing what they're doing that's making them uncomfortable. But if you didn't, if you were not uncomfortable today, if you were not uncomfortable in some form each and every day, you didn't grow that day, right? So as an athlete, if you didn't go out and train and get your heart pumping and, and lift, you know, go and work out to where you're muscles are aching and your heart's pounding and you're not uncomfortable, you probably didn't grow uh, your physical fitness as an athlete that day, right? If you are a real estate investor who's starting out and you wanted to go out there and, uh, and you wanted to go out there and, uh, you know, start finding your first deal and I told you, you know, you're going to need to door knock and you're going to need to cold call and you procrastinate doing those things because they're uncomfortable. You didn't grow that day. Unless you find yourself doing activities each and every day that are uncomfortable, then you're probably not growing that day. So mindset as well as a roadmap are, are key to have the two things together to be able to reach success. 
So I wanted to share that because, again, we've been having some uh, um, high-performing winners, athletes coming in as guests, and, and they've been sharing their mindset. But I also wanted to share that you need to complement your mindset growth with a roadmap. So figure out what it is. Uh, figure out where you want to be, where you want to go, what's your goal, and now you've got to figure out, research, call people that you know who have already been down this road, somebody who's already driven a car from Toronto to Panama City, for example. That would be the person to call, not some gas station attendant who's never done the drive. Call mentors to see the fastest, quickest way. Okay, so wanted to get that out there.